Welcome to QA box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the videos, give them the thumbs up. All right. So this far, what we have done is we have seen how can we store our data. So our data could represent primitive data types and it could also represent non-primitive data types. All right. So for primitive data types, we have these variables of, of type string, number, boolean, and so on and when it comes to storing more complex objects right uh, we have seen an example of car right we have seen an example of computer then we go for objects okay and when you have collection of variables or collection of objects which you want to store under a single variable then you go for arrays all right now in the next three to four videos we are going to see how can we control the execution flow of our program so how can we control that all right so essentially there are three ways you can control the execution of your program one is by using these two brackets all right these brackets form a block of code so any statement that you write inside these two brackets forms a block and the statements are executed in the order you write them inside these blocks okay so that's a block level scope all right then the other one is your decision all right that's another control structure like if else or switch statements in this video we are going to work on if else in the next video we are going to work on switch statements so they execute different code blocks depending upon our condition okay and the last one is repetition like while or for statements that repeat a code block over and over again until a condition is satisfied all right now let's talk about if an else statement so i'm sure where do we use them i'm sure i mean you you must have made decisions in your life i mean that's how you have to relate it where do i have to use if else okay anytime i have to make a decision like i do in my day-to-day -day life right for example if the weather is sunny you know we will wear the shorts if the weather is windy we are going to wear jackets if the weather is rainy we'll carry umbrella right so what are we doing in in these cases so depending upon the condition of the weather we are taking certain decisions all right so let's move on to if else and so if else is a conditional statement which is used to perform different actions based on different conditions just like the example that i gave you where there is sunny we are shorts it's windy we a jacket if it's raining carry the umbrella right so the syntax for that is pretty simple straightforward so you have the if followed by a condition inside these brackets round brackets or you can also call this as the expression if the expression evaluates to true you are going to execute this block of code if the condition or the expression evaluates to false you will execute the else block of code all right something like this so this is your decision point all right if a evaluates to true it goes to b means a's block of code would be executed so if block of code would be executed if it evaluates to false else block of code would be executed all right so then we also have different levels of if else you can write a simple if you can write if else you can write if else if else and you can also write nested if else all right so i'm going to cover if else if else and that will cover all of these 
all right but you know that if you just have one condition that you want to verify and accordingly do something and there are not many more conditions associated or they in your program then you don't need to worry about that okay so in this particular case what we are going to see here is depending upon the age of the person we are going to say whether the person is eligible for employment or not or eligible for pension okay so this is a let this is a simple program so what i've done is i've created a variable let age is equal to 7 if age is less than 18 this block of code will get executed if this statement evaluates to true all right else if so now see this anytime you write the if you have to provide the condition but in case of else you don't have to so if none of these conditions satisfy to true then your else block would be executed the moment any of the condition is satisfied your execution your program execution come out of this whole if else loop okay so therefore it is very important you write these conditions in a proper way and i'll show you an example of what i just said right so in this particular case since the age is 7 which is less than 18 right so this particular code block will be executed and these would be skipped right so not eligible as you could see okay if i change the date to 27 so then you could see that eligible for employment because 27 is between 18 and 62 and if i change it further i make it 72 then you could see that eligible for pension okay so this is how we are going to write this program now let's do one more program and see we say let age is equal to 7 and if i write why don't i use the same one so if i say let age is equal to 7 and if age is let's say uh, let's make it 27 if age is greater than 18 we say greater than 18 okay and else if age is we'll say now less than 32 so the age is less than 32 else I'll say XYZ by the point here I'm trying to make is see this condition is also satisfied and this is also satisfied so what would be the outcome of this greater than 18 the moment a condition is satisfied any more code blocks are skipped all right therefore it is very important for conditions like this we merge them together or take necessary action whatever is applicable in our particular case okay so we have talked about if else if and you can also have nested if else conditions right something like you know you can have if and then inside the block of code you can have more if else conditions and make sure that javascript is a case sensitive language so these are all into small cases all right so you can these are the examples of your nested okay so you can this is how you can write your nested if else conditions that's about if else in javascript thank you so much thanks for watching